Afternoon everyone, welcome back again. Um, another little time vid for you. Today I'm going to do a uh, muskins pattern. Um, this particular one is going to be a black muskins, one that I've been using to great effect recently on Grafham bits for another reservoir. So without further ado, uh, hook is a 10175. The thread I'm going to be using is a black uni ato. Let's just catch that in behind the arm, work that back down the hook. Just like that. Okay. Now this fly's got a little bit of a tail to it, um, and for that I'm using a bit of black hen, um, just taking a feather out of a bit of black hen cape, and I'm going to select a few uh, barbs from it, and just tear them off, and that's going to be my tail section, just offer it up to the hook, and uh, there we are, it's not a big tail on this fly, this is essentially a buzzer imitation. The reason I use it a lot this time of year is because the uh, the solitary buzzers, the big reds, are uh, on very, very active on Grafham and, and a lot of big lakes at the moment. So this is a great way of imitating those and keeping the flies high as well because it's a lightweight tie. So uh, this also has a rib in it as well, so medium silver wire or fine silver wire tints or whatever you prefer. This is a fine silver wire, we're just going to catch it in, work it back down the hook. And then the body for this is uh, black pheasant tail. This uh, black pheasant tail, black dyed pheasant tail here. And we're just going to select two nice barbs from down here somewhere. And just clip them out. And then catch them in by the thin ends. There we go, we'll get thread back up the hook and then just start to wrap the hook. I only use two pheasant tail bulbs on this to keep it nice and slim. I'm just going to use my finger to catch it in, excuse me if it's in front of the camera a little bit. It's going to save everything from going wandering off when I tie it in. So two thirds of the way up the hook and then just catch that in. Lovely. Okay, duck. And then we're just going to bring the silver wire up in opposing turns just to catch everything, just to secure everything. Back up the hook. Lovely. Catch in and trim off. Um, we need to put a thorax cover in here now, and again the thorax cover is also going to be our uh, black pheasant tail, so just take yourself another two uh, barbs of the pheasant tail, if you're lucky enough to have a good pheasant tail, really really long pheasant tail, I haven't got one with me at the moment, you could probably do this whole fly out of um, out the same couple of bits of pheasant tail without time, they trimming off this waist, but I don't have that, so I'm just going to catch these in back there and bring the thread forward. Right, this is the bit where we start to construct the fly a little bit more. So this fly has breathers, and for this particular pattern, I'm gonna use a white antron. You can use white thread, you can use all sorts of white material, as long as it does the same job. I'm just gonna take off a couple of inches of the white antron, and I'm gonna catch it in here. And just try and make it about as even as I can. Just catch that in all the way, wrap it back, and then wrap it forward. Okay, so we want this to end up at the front of the hook. Just at the front of the hook there. I'm just going to leave that for a minute. I like a lot of patterns in the summer, especially in the bright sunshine. I love patterns with a little bit of red in them. And this particular Muskins has got a little bit of a red thorax in here and we're going to tie that red thorax in now So we're just using a uh, medium uh, red hollow tinsel Okay, we're just going to catch that in back here and start to wrap and make ourselves a nice thorax So that's it caught in and we'll give ourselves a few turns Okay, I'm going to go too mad with this, that's enough, that's plenty, and then bring it forward and just finish 
and trim off the excess. This particular pattern, um, the muskings has a little bit of hair's ear dubbing uh, just added into it, just to give it a little bit of life at the top of the top of the fly, the head of the fly up here. Uh, so we just take a little bit of time with the hairs here, Dublin. And it really is just a tiny amount, half of that really. And just dub that on. You only want to get a couple of two or three wraps on, not nothing much more than that. That's plenty. Okay, just bring that up and just wrap that. Nice, that's loads. Okay. Next bit we're going to do is going to bring this hook, these uh, two breathers back, either side of the hook, and then just put a turn in, just to keep them there, just to stop them from flying forward again. So just put a couple of turns in, and then we're going to bring the thorax cover over the top of everything, and again just catch that in, a nice turn, lovely, nice and neat. And before we finish, I'm just going to trim these off just to give me a neater finish. So just lift up and just trim these off. And then another wrap. And then we're going to finish this fly. A bit finish. we are fishing these generally um, on a floater um, out in the open water. I've been using two of these on a a standard 18 foot leader you can go short it doesn't really matter 15 foot if you want to keep them really high with a fab or a booby on the point just chuck them out and just steadily figure about them all the way back to the boat the takes on these are the slamming takes have been really really good fly for me this last few weeks especially in the sunshine so i'm just going to trim these um breathers down to size and i like to bring these breathers down to the same sort of size some sort of length as where your uh red hollow finishes there, thorax finishes there, so trim that one down on that side and we're going to trim that one down on this side as well smash him so you see that starts to take shape now very much is that red hollow really shines through with the light, I'll get that bit of light on there gives you an idea how that hollow really shines through the fly and that's it, and that's your muskins pattern finish it off with a little bit of, tiny bit of um, Varnish that by using that small, small, small amount of hairs here in there, it just gives it a little bit of life, not too much so that it overpowers the fly, just gives it a little bit of life there. And that's a nice little buzzer imitation. We're going to run the brush just underneath that just to bring out a little bit more of those that hairs here. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. It's in a nice little bit of fuss there. It's a nice, perfect summertime dropper fly, that. And that will work. And that will work well. Um, worth a try on any of the reservoirs at the moment. And your small waters as well, of course. Um, you could do all sorts of different variations. Naturals with orange cheeks. And just think about the some sort of colours you use with your buzzer patterns and tie them into your muskins patterns as well. Um, but definitely worth having a few of these in your armoury. Uh, throughout the summer months hope you enjoyed the video um, uh, please don't forget to comment and like uh, click subscribe uh, click subscribe it's free it doesn't cost you anything uh, it just means that you get notified of your video my videos when they come out and you can watch them as soon as they come out so uh, yeah click subscribe click like and uh, i'll uh, see you again soon thanks very much for watching